Hello and good day. We are highly welcome for today's tutorial. On the board, we have a question under the marginal costing techniques. Yes, and let us go straight to answer this question. Now, we have a question. Blessing Nigeria Limited presents you with the following illustration concerning the year ended 31st December 2016. Then we have the unit produced, the direct materials, direct labor, variable production overhead, fixed production overhead, unit sold, and so on and so forth. Required. So this question is it's required us to prepare the income statement using the marginal costing technique. And before we prepare this marginal, sorry, before we prepare um, the, the income statement using the marginal costing techniques, we need to go through certain steps. Now there are three steps which we need to take, or four rather. And the fourth step, or the third step, will include when we have um, a closing stock. Now the first step is the calculation of the variable production cost per unit. The second step is the calculation of the variable cost of goods sold. And the last step is the preparation of the income statement. But in a situation whereby there is a closing stock, then we'll prepare the closing stock, which is the evaluation of the closing stock, before the last step. So let's solve this question. Now, step one. Step one. So step one is what? The calculation of the variable production cost per unit. Calculation of the variable production costs per unit. That is the step one. And how do we get our variable production cost per unit? Now, under the marginal costing technique, as I told us earlier on, Marginal costing techniques will add anything which you have here as a direct material or direct label is also regarded as a variable cost. Whereas under the absorption costing technique, it recognizes both the fixed cost and the variable cost. Now, for our direct materials, it's a variable cost. Our direct label is also a variable cost. So we have direct material. And what is the value? We have what? Two naira per unit as our direct material. Then for direct label, we we'll have 3 naira per unit as our direct label. Now, the variable production overhead. Since MCT recognizes all variable costs, so we're going to pick this value as well, which is what? One unit. So this one unit is what? Our variable production overhead cost, which is what? One naira. Now, this is a fixed cost. We don't need it. This is the value of our unit sold, we don't need it. Likewise, our sales commission and so on and so forth. So we are done with the variable. We sum everything and it gives us what? Six. So here we have what? Six Naira as the cost of the variable production cost per unit. So let's go to the second step. Step two. Step two. Now step two here will be the calculation of the cost of goods sold, the variable cost of goods sold. So we have step two as the calculation of the variable costs of goods sold, of goods sold. Okay. So what do we do here? Here we are going to take note of our unit sold and our variable production cost per unit. Okay. By the time we multiply these two values, it gives us the cost of goods sold. So we have the formula as what the unit sold unit sold times variable costs per unit okay now what is the value of our unit sold when we come back to the question we have our unit sold at 60000 units so we have 60000 units times our variable our variable cost per unit now we've solved for our variable cost per unit and the total we have is 6 naira so we have 6 naira here. So 60,000 times 6 naira gives us a total of 360,000 naira. 360,000 naira, okay? So this is our cost of the variable the variable cost of goods sold. Now we we'll come to the next step, which is the step 3. And step 3 what to do is now to prepare our income statement, okay? So we we'll write what the preparation of the income statements
using now which formula are we making use of we're solving with the mct the marginal costing techniques so we have it there using mct marginal costing technique now under step three there are certain things we are going to consider here we we'll consider our sales we we'll consider our sales commission we we'll also consider um our fixed cost our fixed cost in our income statement so we have our naira sign we have it in two places okay now sales sales how do we get our sales to get our sales we we'll now multiply what um, our selling price times the unit sold. So we are going to consider our selling price now, okay? So the formula is what? The selling price, selling price times the unit sold. That determines what the sale you made for that day. So what is our sales here? Yeah, we have 18 Naira as the sales. 18 Naira times our unit sold. Now in the question, we are giving our unit sold to be what? 60,000 units. So we have 60,000 here. Now, 18,000 times 60,000 gives us a total of 1 million and 80,000 naira. So we'll come over to this section. We have 1 million and 80,000 naira. This is the first thing you consider under the preparation of the income statement. Now, the next thing is to less our cost of goods sold. Okay? So we have what? Less. Remember, it is the second step now. Less cost of goods sold. Now, what is our cost of goods sold? We have solved it on the second step. Remember, calculation of the variable cost of goods sold. And what is the total? We have 360,000. So, our cost of goods sold is what? 360,000. So, we are going to subtract. Now, 360,000, when we subtract it, it gives us a total of 720,000. Okay? 720,000. Now, the third thing we are going to consider now is our sales commission. Our sales commission. And we are going to less our sales commission from here. So we have what? Less sales commission. Sales commission. Now, when we come back to the question, our sales commission is 50 cover per unit. And if you look at other values we have, they were given in Naira. So we need to convert the cover sign to the Naira, to its Naira value. Now to convert it, it means we are going to divide this figure, this 50, by 100. So for our sales commission, we are going to treat it this way. Before then, the formula for the sales commission is the, sell, the sales commission per unit multiplied by the unit produced. The sales commission per unit multiplied by the unit produced. So we have what? Our sales commission. Sales commission. We will be divided by the unit produced. Unit produced. Now, take notes. Take note of your sales commission. It is in cover, so we need to divide. If it is in Naira, we'll make use of it directly. Okay? So what we do now, we say 50 over 100, because we are now converting it. By doing this, we are already converting this to the Naira value. Then times our unit produced. What is our unit produced? The question gave us the unit produced at 60,000 units. So we have times 60,000, times 60,000. Now, this value here gives us a total of what? 30,000, okay? So we have 30,000 here, 30,000. So 30,000 minus this value gives us 690,000, 690,000. Now, the last thing we are going to consider under the preparation of the income statement is what? The fixed cost. That now determines our net profit. So we have what? Less fixed cost. Less fixed cost. Now, we have what? Fixed production overhead. And we also have our other fixed cost. Now, what is our fixed production overhead? We have 140,000, okay? So we have fixed production overhead. Fixed production overhead. Please don't abbreviate in the exam. Make sure everything is written well. Fixed production overhead. And what is the value of our fixed production overhead? We have 140,000. So coming at this section, we record what? 140,000 because we still need to sum it up, okay? Now, this is for the fixed production overhead. Okay. So we have the other fixed costs. Other fixed costs. 
And what is the value of our other fixed costs? We have 80,000 Naira. So we have 80,000 here. So we we'll sum it off and we we'll bring it over to this side. Now, 140,000 plus 80,000 gives us 220,000. 220,000. So we we'll subtract 220,000 from 690,000, which gives us a total of 470,000 Naira. So we have 470,000 Naira. And this value which we have here represents what? Our net profits. Net profits. And we are going to go with this question. Now, remember what I told us at the beginning. Now, we have solved this question using the marginal costing techniques. We will use this same question to solve the absorption costing techniques, okay? Now, the difference between these two is just that the marginal costing techniques sees everything direct as a variable cost, okay? So, it makes use of the variable cost and any other figure or any other value we are given as a direct material or the direct label and so on. Why the absorption costing techniques makes use of both the variable cost and the fixed cost. So, ensure you watch the next video, ACT, Absorption Costing Techniques, where we'll solve this same question using that method and we'll also derive at our final answer. So, if you have questions or you need clarifications, you leave a comment below and we'll definitely get back to you. We wish you the best in all you do and we thank you for being a loyal subscriber. If you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now and be part of this great innovation. Do have a blessed day. Goodbye.